Darren's beating you here ahead of the uh, Iceland game this Thursday. You must be really looking forward to it. It's going to be a solid test. Yeah, definitely. I mean, um, they've proven themselves. They've qualified for the Euros now um, and they'll be looking to, to do that. And we want to get to those major tournaments as well. So it's a, a good test for us to be playing against a team that has reached those levels who would be seen to be kind of on par with us in terms of... Um, history and stuff like that and, and how we play so um, they'll be a big strong team they're obviously going to be in, in good shape going into the Euro so it'll be a great test for us. It's going to be Colin's sixth game in charge he obviously took over in February it's been it's been really good so far you must be really enjoying it. Really enjoying it Um, getting loads of game time everyone's working really hard and I suppose there's a new kind of spin on things now we know what group we have there's kind of um, a more refined focus in training and we're working towards something now so um, it's it's only going up and up the intensity and it's great to have Colin in guiding us through that. Do you think the fitness of the group has gone up? There seems to be some players in the group here who maybe have taken on board what Colin may have said about them. Yeah I think that's an ethos he's he's brought with him he said from from day one like to play in my team you have to be fit you have to be able to put the, the hard yards in and I think everyone's taken that on board and everyone is working very, really hard towards that and I suppose we're more in season now some of the girls have just finished their season so fitness levels should be good and, and hopefully we'll, we'll continue to pr improve on that and, and compete with the big countries in Europe who are renowned for their fitness levels and, and their strength and stuff like that so that's the level we have to get to and everyone is committed to, to getting to that level. And Lee Fahey and Megan Campbell have come back into the squad after a prolonged absence. That adds some competition to the places, doesn't it? Absolutely. I mean, I can see it even in training. Like, there's we're stacked in in a good few positions now. And the two girls, like, they're coming from the two most successful teams in England. Like, they're two of our most experienced and most talented players. So it's brilliant to have them in, um, driving everyone else on and bringing up those standards and just making us all work out for our positions now. You alluded to it earlier. Obviously, we know our opponents now. Northern Ireland is going to be the first of them, a trip to Belfast, that's going to be quite special. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, it's a local derby. Um, it's not often you get to, to experience that playing for your country. So I think we're all going to, to be really looking forward to that. First of all, just to kick off the campaign. But secondly, because of that edge that will be there, because they're your neighbours and there is the, the kind of pride on the line and things like that. So I think we'll all really be looking forward to that one. And finally, obviously, it goes down as a, an international friendly on Thursday, but I suppose that the focus on the group is to just continue what you've already been doing. Yeah, we've had um, a really good start under Colin. We did really well in the Cyprus Cup, built on it then against Slovakia, and we, we want to continue winning. Like Once you, you win once, you want to keep winning, and hopefully we continue to do that on Thursday against Iceland. Mm -hmm.